screen. All right. Well, hey, everyone. Good morning. Uh, super excited to join you this morning from Curbio. I'm Cameron. I also have my teammate Charlotte on the line, so she jumps in at all. Um, we're both here from Curbio. Super excited to talk to you about the program and the benefits and a new way that you can um, win listings. So we can all agree since the beginning of time, uh, agents like yourselves have been responsible for making recommendations about updates and repairs for a property when you're getting it ready to be listed. This isn't anything new. 80% of American homes are now 20 years or older and buyers want move in ready homes, which is why home improvement has become a part of the job for you as an agent for virtually all of your listings. There's a disparity now between the aging inventory and yet also the desire to get the home on the market fast so it sells. As a modern day agent, you're always trying to find ways to be more innovative and more competitive in this landscape, finding ways to set yourself apart and provide more clients, uh, provide more for your clients is critical to win more listings. So updates to the home, as we all know, do have big benefits. Turnkey homes attract more buyers. And as more millennials are hitting the market, they're wanting those turnkey homes. 80% have actually said that they would prefer to not have to do projects after immediately buying a home. So they absolutely help with selling that home faster. No matter the age or condition of the home, every listing needs some basic listing prep at the bare minimum. Things like cleaning, decluttering, staging, fresh coat of paint and landscaping are essential to get a listing market ready. And lastly, the goal <clears throat> with these pre-listing, if you wanna mute uh, just in case there's background noise, might be good. Uh, lastly, the goal of these pre-listing updates are to maximize that sale price so that it leaves more money in your client's pocket and also more money for your commission. With the disparity between that aging inventory and the demand for turnkey homes, we're seeing the rise in concierge services. I'm sure you all have heard of Compass Concierge and other concierge services like it. As you know, while it's necessary to get the home ready for market, homeowners don't always wanna shell out the cash to make these updates. If you think about it this way, um, when you're walking around that home for your listing appointment, pointing out what needs to be done can be pretty tough. It can be tough to say, Okay, so in order to get this ready, it's probably going to cost you $25,000. Instead, with a concierge service, you can wrap all of that into closing, and your uh, homeowner will not have to pay ahead of time and have the cash in their pocket. And that's where we come in. We partner with real estate agents and their clients to get their listings prepped for market with $0 due until the home sells. Curbio is exclusively focused on home improvement projects for real estate transactions, and we only work with people represented by a licensed realtor like yourself. We know that you need to get to closing quickly and you need that certainty and peace of mind. And we've designed our entire process around it. We will wanna make home improvement projects accessible to everyone selling during this market. What makes us different is that we are turnkey. Curbio is licensed and insured as the GC on every project. So we take care of everything for you. You don't have to worry about coordinating. You don't have to worry about that vendor showing up to get the work done, we do all of that for you. Unlike on other concierge services, the antiquated way of doing things is no longer a part of our process. We're also tech powered. I'll show you the app here in a couple of minutes. And we streamline the process to get listings ready for the market or move in. And that's because we're using technology to give you full transparency into the projects. And then the last piece here, the fan favorite fix now pay later so on the sell side clients never have to pay anything until closing there's no credit checks no interest no hidden fees we don't apply a lien we can work with your sellers to make sure that we can get this done quickly and um, they won't have to shell out that money like i said before so we're asked all the time what type of projects we can do we work hand in hand with real estate agents like yourselves and the homeowner to understand the goals of selling whether it's a quick touch up project or a profit driven renovation, we marry the agent's expertise of the market and our experience with pre-listing updates to narrow in on the improvements that will add value, attract more buyers, reduce the number of days on market and maximize ROI. The other big benefit with Curbio is that there's no project minimums or maximums. The scope of work is determined simply by the amount of equity in the home. So we make sure that they have the money available to pay us after they sell. 
And then we're truly here to be your listing partner for pre-sale improvements of any size. The only thing that we don't do is we don't build out or up. So we don't build additions, but we can work with that original footprint and add bathrooms within it or um, you know, make sure that it's ready to go and attractive. So here's one example of um, tasks that we can do, which would be the basic listing prep. That can be anything from deep cleaning, handyman repairs, uh, cleaning up the yard if it's overgrown. Um, pest control is a big one. And here's an example. This is one out of Redmond, Washington. This one um, needed some fresh paint, appliance swaps, new flooring, and this only took three weeks to complete. You can see on that right hand side that it's much more attractive now. So we started off with an as is value for this one of $425,000. The total project was about 25,000. The sale price was 522, which left 72,000, almost 73,000 for that seller in their pocket. The next level that we talk about is uh, refreshes and renovations. This can be just updating the home in general. So if that kitchen looks like it's straight out of the 1970s, we'll bring it into modern time, paint the cabinets, add a backsplash. Um, same thing with the bathroom. And then we can also do landscaping. Um, we can improve that curb appeal. Uh, if you didn't know, Curbio stands for curb appeal from the inside to out. So we can make sure that it looks great on the outside and on the inside. So here's a refresh example. This one is from Pittsburgh. Um, as you can see, it started off um, with a very loud backsplash. So we replaced that, we added some fresh paint, uh, replaced that flooring, changed out hardware and fixtures, and then finished a basement as well. So it started with a as is value of 275,000. The total project cost about $34,000 and the sale price was 30, uh, 355,000 which added a profit of $46,000. And the last level that we like to talk about is remodels. These can be floor plan changes. So if there's a wall that doesn't make any sense in the kitchen, um, if you wanna open it up or replacing the windows, um, replacing HVAC or repairing it, basement refinishing, mold remediation, anything can fall into that remodel zone. Like I said before, we don't build out or up, but if there's room for a new bathroom, we can always add one in or anything else to improve the layout. So here's one in Edina. Um, this one, as you can see, was kind of dark to start out. So we freshened up the paint, uh, changed out that flooring, opened up the kitchen walls, and then updated the bedrooms as well. This one started with an as-is value of 375,000. The total project cost was 76,000 and the sale price was 475. So it put it into a new bracket and the profit here was $24,000. So for the pay at closing model, it's super simple. I wanted to point out that there's no fees, interest, credit checks, um, or anything on the home in order to get this done. In terms of getting paid, we keep it pretty simple and we just put a basic clause in the contract that we get paid at closing with no liens or deeds of trust required or enforcements. We simply look at the equity of the home to ensure that there's enough to cover the total project cost. Curbio never takes a portion of the sale, so the hope is always that we're selling for more than we started with and that goes straight into the homeowner's pocket and also into your commission. We get paid um, just exactly like a GC does and our pricing is set up like a GC does, but the added element is that it's all inclusive and we're managing the project at the same time. You'll find that our pricing is pretty competitive with the local GC. We've designed it that way so that the pricing isn't a barrier to working with us on a project and we want to be your partner. I love talking about the materials. I'll point them out when I jump into the app here in a minute too. Um, but Curbio keeps a very curated portfolio or a reserve of materials in stock and ready to ship. We know what's trending and what buyers want in your market. And we've curated this selection to eliminate all the decision-making and condensed project timelines. Our materials are high quality. We have a signature line that's builder quality. And then we also have a luxury line that's higher end for appliances and stone. But the bottom line is that it's a very easy process. And if your client has a, a material in mind that they wanna use, 
that's not in our standard book, we can always get custom. It may just take a tiny bit longer. So I'd love to introduce you to our team. Um, when you're working on a project with Curbio, everything starts with that home improvement consultant. So that home improvement consultant is here to be your go-to throughout the process to um, talk to you about the pre-listing improvement that you'll want to do in order to get market ready, no matter the size. Whether you're requesting an estimate for a listing that you've already won or preparing for a listing presentation to win the listing, Curbio estimates are free and no obligation. The home improvement consultant team, as we call them, or HIC, you'll see from time to time, will work with you to um, get that estimate and then get you to the contract stage because they work virtually and they're available around the clock to get you started. Um, one thing to note with that contract is your name is not on it. So you're here to help us with the introductions and offering that estimate over to your homeowner, um, but your name isn't there and you're not held responsible for anything. Once the project kicks off, you'll be assigned to a dedicated project manager who will quickly become your go-to for any of your project needs. Our project managers are full-time salaried employees and only work for Curbio, which means that they're dedicated to getting to closing fast and reliably. They're also local to your area and they know the market just like you do. Um, you'll be able to meet with them in person if you'd like, and they'll have intimate knowledge of what customers in your area want. We have an in-house design team on staff to work with those floor plan changes or bigger renovations. They also um, work with our materials as well. And our subcontractors are all handpicked and vetted by Curbio. All subs we work with are local to your area. They're licensed and insured and trustworthy. Um, if you have a vendor that you love to work with and would love to work with on a project with us, we can also introduce them um, and onboard them into our process. So here's what the process looks like. Uh, the starting point would be that we'd love for you to add our flyer um, and you can get that from the resources area in our app and I'll show you that in a second. Um, add this flyer to your listing presentation or add um, another slide to your PowerPoint if you use a PowerPoint for your listing presentation, just so that you can talk to them about a, another added benefit that you can bring to the homeowner if they were to work with you. If there's anything that they need done pre-list, we wanna be able to jump in and help with that. So once that you've uh, talked to them about it in your listing presentation, they say yes, that they'd be interested in getting an estimate, then you can head over to the Curbio app and submit an estimate request for the pre-sale improvements that you recommended. Then within 24 hours, you'll hear back to schedule an estimate call with the home improvement consultant. They're pretty quick. Um, if you add it in uh, early in the day, they'll get back to you before end of business, and then you can get that scheduled um, quickly to talk to them on the phone. And then the two of you will determine the scope of work, um, you know, the homeowner yourself and that home improvement consultant to get the final estimate. And then the homeowner will sign the contract and the project begins. So I'm going to jump over into our portal really quick so that you can see what that looks like. Okay. So you'll receive a link to this later today. I'm going to send this over to Cassie so that she can get you logged in. Um, but this is what our portal looks like. When you are on the homepage, right in the top right corner, you'll see the schedule and new estimate call. This is what I was referring to with getting that um, process started with the home improvement consultant. All you need to get started is to put in the address. If you happen to have photo or videos um, of the home, you can add a link here, but it's not required to get started. First step is just putting in the address. Once that you have a project starting, then you'll have um, right here in the active projects, you'll have a list of them and you can click into them. Uh, we call this like the timeline so that you can see what's going on from start to finish with the project. Um, if I go all the way down to the bottom, this is the start of the conversation and the project manager is here kicking everything off. Um, I love to share that you can be as involved in this process as you want to be. Um, you can be involved in every step of the way, or you can just have the transparency and visibility into seeing what's going on once that, that project kicks off. We also have our material specialists in here. They're going to walk through um, the choosing of material. So if we are um, putting in a new fridge, they'll give the options that we have um, due to the sizing, the space that is available. 
And this is also where the schedule is made. So um, the project manager will say, you know, Tuesday, we're going to have the countertops installed. And then they stop by periodically, sometimes every day, sometimes every other or so. And when they do, they add pictures of what the project looks like currently. And then they also will add project um, pictures at the very finish to show off what everything looks like. So over here on the left, um, this is your point of contact area. So we'll have your info and we'll have the homeowner's info. But then for Curbio, you'll have the um, information for the project manager so that if for some reason you want to call them directly, we always encourage conversation in this timeline. But if you want to call them directly, you absolutely can. And you'll have their phone number and you'll have their email as well. Same thing with that home improvement consultant and the material specialist information will be in here as well. Um, with the materials, I love to show off this area because I think it's kind of fun. Um, this is like our catalog. So if you know that your um, homeowner has a 30 inch vanity that they need to replace, here's the list of the ones that we have available. It's kind of fun to go through and pick and choose. But like I said, you get to be as involved as you want to be. So if this is something that you really are passionate about, you can jump in and help with choosing. Um, but if not, then the material specialist and the homeowner can do this together. And then lastly, this is our resource section. So this is where you can grab that one pager or you can grab case studies. Um, your specific app will have a lot of case studies that are close to your area, like the Dyna one. So um, this is a great place to be able to utilize um, different, different uh, marketing pieces. Let me go back to my PowerPoint. I have one more slide and then we'll jump into some questions. So exciting thing that we have going on for the next 90 days, now that we're kicking off with your team, um, for every single estimate that you get back. So when you submit an estimate request and then you actually receive it back, you'll uh, receive a $100 Visa gift card. Um, so you can total this up. If you have 10 listings that you're working on, uh, there's no limit to this. We'll send you out $1,000 in Visa gift cards and should be a fun thing for you to be able to use this summer. All right, that's all I have. Anyone have any questions? Maybe I missed this part, but what does pricing look like as far as, um, you know, the different vanities and things like that versus if they were to just hire a stager and go into Menards type of thing? Yeah, good question. Um, so we're comparable to the local GC for pricing. Um, everything's all inclusive. So we're not adding extra line items for having to source the materials either. Um, I'd say that we aren't the most expensive and we aren't the least expensive. We try to be competitive with that local GC throughout the entire process. What's your guys's uh, turnaround time from start to finish? Good question. Um, so once that contract is signed, we can get out there and start the project typically within 10 business days. So it's a pretty quick turnaround. And then maybe you covered this and I missed it, but how do you guys get paid or how does that work? I know you get paid at closing, but you know, I'm just wondering if it, you know, how to, how to show them that it's going to benefit them to do this upfront, pay at close, um, you know, like a breakdown of the ease of it and why it would make more sense for them to go this route. Yeah, absolutely. I'll also send over so that Cassie can pass it on, um, an example of what, um, the contract looks like. So you can see what it's, uh, what it would look like for when you jump into one. Um, but overall, the, um, the statement in our contract is just that we get paid at close. So it would just be a line item on the settlement statement. And, you know, a lot of sellers these days don't have the cash to put down on the home improvements that they need in order to get them to that next level in sales price. And so this is just another way for them to be able to do that. And then we just take it out of the proceeds. Cameron, can you also cover, we talked about this when we initially met, if the home doesn't sell or then the homeowner decides they're not going to move or they have a change of plans, what happens then? 
Absolutely. Good question. Yeah, we haven't seen it yet, funny enough, um, but that's probably just because of the work that we're doing and it's getting those homes off the market quickly. But if it does happen, and it totally could, we just have in the contract that they pay us back. So we can set up a payment plan, whatever's easiest that we get paid back at that time. Um, but funny enough, we just haven't seen it so far. So we haven't had to do that. I suppose there's a possibility the seller could fall back in love with their home once it's semi remodeled. So that, that's probably a possibility. Right. Yeah. That's exactly why we plan for it because suddenly they may love their kitchen that they were annoyed with for years. So it's totally possible and we can do it. The idea uh, throughout this whole process is that they are going to sell it. So that's how we set this up so that they pay it closing. But in the chance that suddenly they, they never want to leave, we're here to help with that. Well, and I was also, I think of it from terms of like relocation people who they were going to get relocated. They start all these projects and their company doesn't relocate them anymore. There's just a multitude of reasons why sure. someone could no longer move. Um, one other thing, and I, I feel like we talked about it, but I don't remember seeing it here. Um, we do have to have a signed listing agreement for them to access this program, right? Good question. Uh, to start the process, you don't have to have the listing agreement. We're hoping that it'll help you win that listing agreement. But yes, once that we get to the contract phase, they will need to be in a license or a listing agreement with you um, with plans to list on the market. We write in there um, that they need to list within seven days of completion. Obviously, we can be super flexible with that, but um, it does require that in order to get to the contract phase. So I think that can be a great tool, guys, for, you know, if you have people on the fence about signing a listing agreement, this is just kind of one more way to encourage getting that listing agreement signed. Absolutely. Any other questions? All right. Well, I so appreciate you letting Charlotte and I join you today. Um, I'll be sending over an email to Cassie with the link to the app and all the other information. Feel free to let us know as you have questions, but we're so excited to get started with you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for everyone who joined. Thank you. Thank guys. you. Thanks. Have a great day.